clamp you in them if you can't open them wide enough. Um, one door opens and one door, one door pulls, one door pushes. So I just push my body into the push door instead of attempting to pull open because they're too heavy for me to pull. Um, I usually like stick my leg in the door, kind of use my leg to open it. You gotta get, get a, like a firm grasp. You start the movement from your hip. You kind of like push from your hip, release, activate through your core. Kind of drop your shoulder and really push. If I push here, I, I can't do anything, right? So I, I try to aim here, actually more towards here, so when I, when I pull. Thank you very much. I'm Dr. Simon DeVent. I teach first year physics here at Dalhousie. And right now I'm standing on the second floor of the Killam Library with uh, some famous doors behind me, some famously heavy doors and difficult to open. Hi, I have here a force scale. It measures forces in different units, and we can see how much force is required to open the door. So if I apply my scale here in the middle of the door and pull, this is a push door. <laughs> so if I have a door like this and I try to apply a force, I can pull here, let's say here in the middle of the door at the handle, and that requires for me, oh, it's a big force, that's about 10 kilograms of force. In other words, the equivalent of lifting a 10 kilogram object, about 20 pounds, 20 some odd pounds. That's big. And so to open a door, to cause something to rotate, we need something that we call torque. Torque depends on two things. It depends on the force, and it also depends on how far away from the axis we're applying it. Pulling on the outer part of the handle is much easier than pulling on the inner part of the handle near the innermost part of the handle and it requires a great deal of force to open. In fact, you can see there that is about 10 kilograms of force. The easiest way to get through these doors is to avoid the human element entirely and just press the automatic door opener. 